Oshinoko season two is here. I just uploaded my reaction to episode one on Patreon. I'm excited to be back in the story. Now, I've heard the opener once, but you know, I was casually watching the anime, so it was not a surface level music analysis. It was not a deep listening. That's what we're going to do right now. This is Fatala by Jem. I'm excited. Let's go. Oh, nice little embellishments there. Nice energy shift. Oh yeah, the castanets. I forgot. Okay. Man, the first 30 seconds, the intro is nice. You got some serious energy there, and then we like divert it in a different direction. Okay, moods and tones painted by two predominant things. Obviously, the vocal line, and then the keyboard, all the synth piano stuff happening underneath. Take a listen to the vocals right here. We can kind of like drone in on one kind of like central area with tone, but the chord progression in the keyboards, like it's a real cool mood that it paints. Little jazz elements, you know, like kind of bluesy, but you can hear where you're at because the progression is really cool. Uh, you're very blatantly, you can hear that now. I mean, this is wide open. Like anybody could play over the top. So it would be really easy and fun. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's super accessible, but like really good. And obviously the quarter note pulse and the percussion is going to give you that kind of like minimal house feel. It really shifts gears in a second, but the tempo is bright. Like it's not slow. We're pushing quarter note pulse is right here. We're going. It's got places to go and it does go places with the next shift, but you know, I, I feel like it's still wide open enough that it sounds simple, even though we know that those middle like layers, all the synth lines are going to get more crowded uh, in a second. But all right, let's take it through this part again. I like that little. I didn't even notice that the first time. Yeah, and obviously, boom, 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 boom. We take that pulse. The quarter note pulse is still there. The tempo is the same. You just, you know, you fatten it up. It gets a little thicker with some other stuff going on. The bass gets more of like synthy, but a lot more wide sounding. And it just, I don't know, the groove factor is extreme. <laughs> The other main difference is, well, it's not really a difference. I, I love the fact that the castanets is like Spanish hand percussion. It's very cool. If you've never seen a castanet player, go on YouTube after this and just look it up and be like, oh my God, it's amazing. Then try to play it and hate yourself because it's so difficult. Uh, anyway, uh, the main difference there, adding that percussion instrument, but subtracting the keyboard really isolates the difference. If we go back to like like the eight second mark here, listen down to the keyboards and listen what happens when they pull that and we go into this like B side of this groove. <laughs> Very different feel. The other main difference, the vocal line is significantly different in the beginning. We're not camping out in more, like a kind of a drone anymore. It has a lot more uh, shape to it. It's just a lot more wide open though. Okay, we'll, we'll let it go this time, I promise. That part is cool. Bum, bum. And we're going to be up in the suspension. And we drop into the next part. We don't go through the progression that has been set up before. So I'm a big fan. It just It's like little nerdy things. I love that fact. The design is cool. So great on their production. Just to give that to you. Because it's, I don't know. You kind of just interrupt the groove a little bit. Remember, tempos all stay in the same. We're still in the same pocket as far as that goes. But we're about to hit a massive feel change. Right here. And it's a lot more crowded. 
That's very cool. Yeah, so cool stuff. I like the callback, the the call and response there, and the vocal line. It's nice, but the biggest difference here has the tempo changed? No, that's very consistent. We're still right here. It's more boom, 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 boom. The feel is completely manipulated to give us a very different listening experience. Now, I said it's thick in sound because you got all these like little like cute like synth sounds going on. It's super like programmed out. It reminds me like Clay Eshelman, like Polyphia's drummer, like it's like borderline. I don't know. It's not trap esque, but like has like little elements in that. The biggest thing, the only reason we're really talking about it is because of the contrast and the groove and the feel we have in the beginning, the little fill section, we have some suspension, and now we drop into this because they're completely unrelated to each other, yet they're in the same song. And they sound really good because normally that's a little bit more of a difference than we get between a verse and a chorus. But I'm here for it because, well, I was expecting this because of, I don't know, the past two years of listening to so much like Japanese anime related music, like my expectations and uh, what I used to think was normal has just like, it's altered in a good way, though. I like it. I like where we're at. Anyway, back a couple seconds. Let's keep going. Cool phrasing. Should be obvious, all the callbacks. As far as the grooves and feels. Your obligatory build. Ba, 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 dee, dee. I didn't catch that the first time. That's cool. All right, we go back and listen to this like closing chunk. It's quick though. It's only a minute thirty. There's you know there's not a significant amount of stuff to cover. I'll be very curious after like reacting to the whole uh, the second season here what the full version. I tend to do that now like where I like we'll do a reaction on the short the anime version after we're done with the Patreon. Go back check out the full version and be like oh what what else was did the artists have in for us that we just didn't hear until we could grab it. Okay. Obvious change. We're back to the house pulse, the quarter note pulse, really getting the emphasis there with all the synth stuff that's going on, all the digital uh, force there. And our vocal line is super dominant on top. Like, that's, it's pretty blatant. And we're kind of all over the place. And then we jump registers, and there's all these, like, little intricate, like, noises that are going on within the line of the production. Uh, it's cool, but it's like, I don't know, ears, ADHD stuff. <laughs> it's a lot, I, I dig it, though. Like, there's a lot happening. I'm just, like, thinking, like, oh, what can we do here? What what can we do here? There's just a lot to go on. Some people, like, if you're watching this video, you probably like the song, so you're into it. But trust me, there's plenty of people who listen to this and be like, whoa, that's a lot. There's a lot to put my ears on. It can be, you know, like, exhausting to someone's ears. I dig it, though. Actually, just let me know. Do you like it or do you not like it? Like, where where are you at on your spectrum with it so far? <laughs> I like all the little offbeat stuff. That's fun. And just with that, when I was saying it's kind of exhausting, they bring you back a little bit. There's still a lot going on. There's still kind of a lot of chaos, but they give you something easy to grab on. Like that is an easy phrase to put your ear on, and they give it to you twice, actually. So that good design there. Now we go someplace. It's similar. It's not the same. We're it's kind of like an A B C kind of a thing going on. We have like verse and chorus, and we get some. You know, we drop into this. I don't know what you want to call this, but the mode, the mode feels a little bit different, musically speaking. Better. 
Yeah, that's cool. And that's like just a little taste of something different. So what does that mean? Does that mean the full version has a much bigger version of that? Is that like telling us more about the anime where we got a theme and it's going to like break out and give us something completely different? I mean, it depends on how much you buy into like foreshadowing with music and, you know, on the composition side, do they, how much of a spectrum do they have of where the, where the story is going? Do they foreshadow that within their tunes? I don't know. I, I read stuff all the time and everyone has a lot of ideas, but anyway, uh, I like this. I definitely am looking forward to doing a reaction to the full version when we're well in it. So let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. My name is Drumroll Tony. Catch me when I'm live on Twitch. Come watch some anime with me on the Patreon. I think with Oshinoko, that puts us up to like 23 different anime titles. We're doing the reactions on there. It's been a good time. Musically, it is so much fun, especially recently with Sound Euphonium. Oh my God, that is such a good anime. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Please and thank you. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channel. YouTube thinks you want to watch one of these two videos next. Have a great day. Take it easy. Bye-bye.